It's, is that it? It's worse with the shift knob, dude. I told you. Holy cow, it feels broken. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's an actually an exciting day. We're going to finally fix this issue with the shifter. I am so excited to get rid of all this. Uh, the slop and everything else. Uh, we got the hard boy short shifter um, and all the bushings that go along with it, the pivot bushings, the transmission bushing and everything else. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good time. I hope everybody, everyone is safe. Um, during this pandemic coronavirus craziness uh, We are doing everything we can to give you guys uh, some content entertainment uh, To keep you guys occupied during these times So uh, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to it Already just like that. We're back in the garage um, I pull up. I'm waiting for John to come in uh, He had to go run an errand real quick but uh, pull it in the garage, gonna check the oil real quick, you know how EJs are. Uh, and then we're going to start tearing it apart and start installing um, the, the short shifter and the bushings. So stay tuned. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna miss, you're gonna miss this, I think. This, that's, it's terrible. I mean, look at it. <laughs> yeah, it is horrible. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and get the shift knob off that you threw on here because you, because you I had it. I can't even find gears. I mean, it's terrible. Put that there. You said this is a 15 mil. Let's get the shifter off and then we're gonna, uh, do I have to take that little hex key off too? No. It just untwists? Yep, untwist the black part. Yep. Okay, all right, cool. I don't think I've done. So the hex key actually keeps the shift knob straight once you install it back on there. Oh, gotcha. Like the letters and numbers align yeah. with the front of the car. Okay. All right, so that's off. Uh, we're in the air, so I guess we don't need to break anymore, huh? Think about that one. Okay, better safe than sorry. Yeah. I'm just gonna think about it. Let's go ahead and undo this plug for the air adjustments. Stick that right there. Um, this guy pulls up. Stick that right there also. Wow, that was quick. How many times have you taken this apart, man? Never. Holy cow. Oh boy. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is a 12 and then 10s. So let's go ahead and take that stuff off. So let's get these 10s out of here. Probably could have grabbed the drill, made this faster, but. All right, so we got the shifter out. Um, this is always interesting getting out, but um, if you just pry down, they pop right out. Um, getting them in is always fun. I've, I've literally seen people that post on uh, forums or on Facebook or something. They're like, I can't get this to go back in. Um, getting you it to go get it with the rubber mallet. A lot of people do, but the rubber mallet just bounces and this just absorbs the shock. Uh, I think I usually end up going in at an angle, but I can't remember. We'll find out in a minute. When we put it back. <laughs> it's always interesting. Like sometimes it goes really well, and then sometimes you're like, "How do you get this in?" And it's it's not that hard. It just doesn't work. So, uh, so I think we're I think we're done up here for right this second. Um, I don't want to tear this boot until I get down there and take a peek. Alright, so let's go under and see what we got. Okay, so we're doing, oh boy, it's tight under here. We're doing uh, everything for the shifter. We're doing front bushings, rear bushings, the shift linkage update from turning concepts, um, and we're doing transmission group N, transmission mount for the five speed, and the inserts that go right in here. Uh, we're doing those as well, so this whole, basically this assembly, which mounts to the trans mount, is all gonna be good. Uh, crawling under here, if we could. Oh All right, so we do see the problem up on here, um, which we will. Oh my God, that is, dude, that is a joke. All right, we will show you when this is removed. Uh, there's, there's nothing left on the linkage update. It's metal on metal. So, 240,000 miles is shining bright right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty sure it's been never changed. Yep. Yeah. Oh, definitely not. Okay, so there's little bushing inserts here. I think they call them cross member bushings or cross member. Cross member, I think, yeah, you're right. Um, sometimes they call them 
positive shift kits or something. Yeah. But there's two here and then there's two in the front that I can't really point to, but it's up there. Yep. So we're gonna get that on the ground outside and then this is the five speed mount we're gonna replace. There's the old one, we'll compare that in just a second with the new one. Yep. Show you what that looks like. Most people know what the five speed diff mount differences are. Um, we gotta get a bolt in this too. Yep. Um, so next would be a 14, uh, 12. Once we get that out, um, then we're gonna get the linkage removed right above it. And then the entire assembly should be able to come down. Uh, we've got 12s in the rear as well. So it goes all the way back and then there's the rear mount back there. So we have these two bushings, the rear mount, and the linkage up here. You can see it rattling around already. Is that showing up on camera? Wow, hold on, let me zoom in real quick. There's your hand, right there. Every direction, up, down is loose, and left and right. So that's definitely not supposed to be just moving around. Wow. All right, so let's get the 12 off of here. Uh, Super was smart enough to put the bolt on the other side welded, so you only have to undo this guy to get him to get this off. It's definitely smart. You didn't have that lock on the Miata. No. With the bell housing bolts. So this is a, um, let me see. Yeah, technically that's not a circle, it's a D shape. Um, the top of the bolt is actually like flat. So let's get, let's get this removed. Ow! Well that wasn't very tight. I love non-rusted cars. <laughs> <laughs> Got one on the other side here. Comes right off. And then it goes by hand. How beautiful! Okay. All right, so, all right. So we got this uh, this arm out. He goes in here. This is considered. Well, okay, he sits in here like that, and it slides on the pin. This is considered the rear mount, and then this would be the front the front pivot mount. Um, so we got to push him out or cut the top off because this is a one piece bushing. So you probably have to cut this off and then just push it out. This one just slides right off. Um, so let's get the pin removed for the, um, oh, you can see the movement on this now. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we'll get the pin removed here. Um, you have to have a, an assortment of, um, 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 uh, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, picks or chisels or picks or punches. There we go. Punches. punches. Um, small one, there's actually two pins. So you gotta hit the small one first on the inside and then after that one's out, then you hit the next one. They both come flying out and fall to the ground. So we'll pull this whole thing down as one piece um, with this rubber and then we'll, we'll probably don't even have to take it off, honestly. I'll just leave it on the shaft. So this, there we go, the rubber's, the rubber's down here now. Uh, all right, let me go grab my punches and a small hammer. Uh, dude, look at the floor. Holy crap, what are those blue? That's all the bushing disintegrating. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, it's disintegrating as we're working on it. So I found another, uh, this is actually an adjuster from one of my coilovers. I don't even know if I have these, this car anymore or this coilovers anymore, but it was in there. I'm gonna try to stick it in here just to hit the edge of it because that pick tool got major stuck. That definitely took like a good solid 10 minutes to get it back out. No, oh, just like that. All right, there's the inside pin. Um, I was, this worked pretty well. I was just getting it on the very, oh my God, my hands are shaking because I was struggling so much. You hit it just on the edge of it and hit the inside one out. And then the second one will take quite a bit less effort. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Longer extension did the trick. All right, so now the rubber boot is removed. That's that. And then we'll go outside the car and do all this stuff and I'll show you how bad some of this stuff is. Um, so this is the boot that sat inside. Your shifter goes through that hole. Ended up not removing the boot from, from this um, shifting arm. So I just dropped this down below the inside of the car and just pulled it out of one piece. Mm -hmm. So this is what we were talking about, all the play. And then here too. In every direction this thing is just shot. Wow. All sorts of play. So this thing was just introducing left, right, up, down. All the blue that you gotta 
a uh, little bit of footage of is just the bushing just completely disintegrated. So, uh, that's crazy. So this is the new piece. Um, that'll go in there. Um, so it has new bushings here, and then there's bushings inside there. So that should be nice and nice and fresh. Uh, I'm gonna tighten that one up too. It looks like that is crazy. I mean, that's to be expected. I guess 240,000 miles, nothing lasts that long. No, no way. So then we have uh, the two uh, the two mounts here. Is that the right way? Okay, this is exact same match. So they just add a lot more material. This oh wow! Look at the. Look at the difference there. Yeah, this one's actually not bad, but you can see how much it flexes. It, it's got quite a bit of movement if you do that. This one, not so much. Oh God, so, that's like but, a solid mount. But it's definitely not solid, because solid makes everything shake. Okay, um, so this I, is the urethane in there? Uh, it's still rubber, it's just rubber. a harder rubber. It's okay. like a denser rubber. So that's those two pieces. This goes with that. That's that piece. <sighs> This one, we've got the new mount for here, and there's the old one for the rear. And then these two pieces up here um, sandwich this one. So that's gonna be those two mounts. So we gotta go ahead and cut this guy out, slide this one on, put grease on everything, um, install the universal joint, and then the five-speed mount will be towards the end, and then we should be finished. Oh, wow. Um, this looks really, really bad. <laughs> yeah, it actually looks okay, but it's just a really gross design. Oh, okay. Just, yeah, cruddy. Okay. So these are the inserts for the subframe, uh, transmission subframe. Um, they're just real thin, but they're urethane. They go. They go. They go right here. You can kind of see it under there. It's the mm -hmm. same shape. So that's just something that's not hugely necessary because it's not really introduce a whole lot of. I mean, it has a little bit of flex. You can see if I, I can pivot the rear one. So it gets rid of a lot of that movement, and then your five-speed mount sits right here. And then wow. this, this bolts to the transmission. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really solid. So yeah, it's gonna feel great. The, the shifts are gonna fall right into gear. Um, you don't, you know, the transmission's gonna stay put, and it's gonna fall right in. You're not gonna have any of the engine rocking. That feels so good, dude. Yeah, do neutral. Look. You let go, like push it over and then let go, let it bounce back to center. Like, uh... Yep. Look at that. It doesn't like bounce all the way back over. Yep. It goes straight back to center. Straight where it's back to center. It's, and it is actually, it takes a lot of resistance, it takes resistance now. Yeah. To push, holy cow! Go to first, go back again, out in, in, in the first. I don't hear it hitting the bracket. No, nope. so I think we Yeah, I think John nailed that guy. Framed it really, really well. Don't give me, don't give me a hard time for my six-speed shift now. It's there for a space holder right now. So, but it is looking fantastic. I think uh, I think we're done. All right, it, it feels great. It looks fantastic. Uh, it functions well. No more slop. No more slop. And it's shorter. And it's shorter. Yeah. The best way to describe this, I've told him before, it's like a bolt-action rifle. 
Yep. I mean, it's, it's it feels super crisp. So good, crisp. I mean, it's it's just an open, not not a comparison. Yeah. I mean, it's such a pleasure to shift now. It's 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 crazy. Yeah. You know, we're first and second R. You're yep. not rowing and putting, yep. as I call it. So. Yeah. It's crazy. So it used to be, I would put it on third. It will still move around. Yeah. And I couldn't. I I, I will forget. Like if I'm on the third or fifth gear. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously you can't tell from the RPM, but sometimes you just, you know, you put your hand and you don't think you about it. You don't know it. where it's at. Yep. Yeah. So, wow. Cool. cool. Like, holy cow. It's I mean, this is $250 worth of mods. Yeah. It's makes it such a difference. I love it. It's awesome. Yep. That was definitely worth it. It's not a hard install either. It takes yep. a little bit. Uh, I struggled on a few things that you normally don't struggle on, but. I think the hardest part you would say, the grinding. No, the grinding wasn't hard. It just took a minute. Um, that pin is always a little challenging depending on what type of uh, punches you have. If you yeah. have a huge set of those, it's not bad. Yeah. I only have a Sexist set of six, so I need to probably get a bigger set to make it easier. I don't know easier. what time it is now, but we started like, probably took us two hours. Probably two hours, I'm Two thinking. hours overall, everything in the car, underneath the car. Yeah, this yeah. camera's bouncing all the time. It's gonna be some shaky footage, car in car footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is, so. Well, cool. But um, it's done. So uh, I think that's it for this video. Yeah, that's it for just this a, video. Just a, just a quick install video. Quick install. Uh, hope, hope it will help you guys out who, who's trying to do this, uh, I guess, yeah. the mod. Yeah, I think the, the another thing that was the hardest part was having to, those bushings that we had to kind of trim down because they weren't quite right. It wasn't hard to fix, but it's kind of weird that we yeah, had to that, that was that was interesting. But they fit good now. Um, yep. We got everything tightened. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to take it for a drive, but yeah. um, that's it for this video, guys. Yeah. Uh, give it, give us a like, subscribe if you were able to provide you guys any value, um, and then we'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah. We're gonna pick back up on the SDI on the next video. Yeah, we got the tie rod. We're gonna go ahead and finish the string rack on the next uh, next video here. So. Yep. All right. Well, we'll stay see tuned. Next one. Be the addiction with Project Cars. Stay tuned. We'll see you guys on the next video. All right. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>